The first day of school is in the books and you have sent us lots of good back to school pictures. We have seen welcome back celebrations this morning. Even teachers singing to kids arriving for the first day. WFNY News 2's Hunter Fung found out how it went. Yeah, Chad, making sure the kids make it to and from school successfully can be a challenge, but most parents from Guilford County Schools who I spoke with say it went off without any major challenges. Many things went smoothly. The first step, getting students bus to school. We were expecting it to be a little late, but six minutes, I think that's pretty good for the first day. So everything went good. Kami Sanders says compared to years past, it went seamless as her fifth and first grader went to Moorhead Elementary School. GCS Acting <laughs> Superintendent Dr. Whitney Oakley <laughs> greeted students at several schools. She says there were no major issues with transportation. We always have first first week, first day where we have some delays, but the drivers learn the routes, the kids learn the drivers. All GCS high schools are equipped with new body scanners. Northern High School 11th and 9th graders Mackenzie and Jarrett Moore say it was slow to get through the door. It, a lot. it took a long time. Moore says three ring binders set it off and added she's concerned the Chromebooks they get Wednesday might slow things down even more. Parent Christina Lomax heard the same from her Grimsley High School senior and sophomore, but says besides that, the day was a success. All these kids, you can see that they've struggled the past few years, and um, I think the schools have really tried to meet that need and step to it. Over in Alamance Burlington school system, staff singing the same tune, saying things went well. At Winston-Salem for Scythe County Schools, the superintendent said buses could be late moving forward. We're also processing about 400 uh, uh, transportation requests a day. So for all of our parents, you know, we're, we're going to get there as those requests come in. We're filling them as, as quickly as possible. While there are some challenges, parents like Michelle Moore are jumping for joy, knowing the kids are back to class. I am thrilled and thrilled that we had a great first day and we look forward to a great year. And all districts say some minor hiccups were expected the first day and that it'll get worked out within the next few days.